slog. I have nothing of interesting to say, nor do I have a very good Kirk impression, nor have I ever watched the original Star Trek or The Next Generation. I have seen the modern movies and the Star Trek movie First Contact, and I think it's okay. Captain's log over. Welcome to Weets, everyone, the marijuana review show where we help you make sense of your dispensary and help you determine which products out there are worth your money. And today, we are taking a look at another cartridge, one I have had a ton of people ask me to review. Don't worry, guys. Kingpin is coming at some point. It is not easy to find close to me, however. Uh, but this one is Exotic Carts. That's right, we are taking a look at Exotic Carts here today and their one gram Gorilla Glue. What a package. Um, some of the most minimalist packaging I've seen yet for cartridges. Just a little basically plastic Ziploc looking bag, uh, different art on the back there. So uh, Gorilla Glue is a favorite strain of mine. This gorilla has only one eye and it's green, and he seems to be smoking three vape pens at once. Um, what a, a voracious smoking, voraciously smoking gorilla. And his tongue is turning green. Uh, and the art gets trippier on the back. And then we have all the things like lab tested. I doubt it, I don't see any lab testing results. All natural, whatever that means. No PG, PEG or VG. Great. And most importantly, 100% dank. Also, they claim 80 to 85% THC, which no lab testing results. Who knows? So uh, we're going to give it a shot nonetheless to see if it's pretty any good. I think people have been requesting it a lot because it's pretty cheap. Uh, this one gram only cost me 30 bucks at my uh, definitely still black market dispensary in Wilmington, California, sort of a neighbor to Long Beach. Um, so I don't know. I doubt these are totally legal. Uh, so uh, they exist out there probably quite a bit on the black market, but probably not going to find them at your legal dispensary would be my guess. Also going to be smoking it today with my, or vaping it today with my low key. Um, this is a little vape that's designed to look like something that goes on your car keys so you can take it into like a concert or whatever. I've been using it for a while. It's okay. There are a lot of these out there. Um, this one is good enough. Um, I've decided no longer to get use super nice vape pens or ones with um, different temperatures on them because I'm going to try to do it, replicate it as most real world scenarios would be, which is literally just going to be with the cheapest battery uh, you can get because that is the way most people are going to be doing cartridges. So this one uh, was about 30 bucks at my dispensary. Uh, it's good. It's a good quality. It's lasted for a while. Uh, I appreciate the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, sort of surreptitious nature of it, you know, the being able to sneak around with it. Uh, but it's just a standard, no temperature voltage, and that's the way it's going to be in the future. It's just very standard 510 pens, nothing fancy. So let's get to the review. Let's open this exotic carts here and get to talking about it. Uh, what we do with our cartridge reviews, guys, by the way, is I review the cartridges as such. I'm just going to take a couple of puffs here uh, on camera, let you know about the taste, how uh, consistency, how easy it is to draw, all that stuff, cartridge design, yada, 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 um, how high it got me in the moment, so on and so forth. And then I'm going to come back to you guys actually after I have finished the cartridge to let you know how it all worked out. Because as we all know, cartridges can start leaking, they can get hot and burn hot at the towards the end, all kinds of problems. So it's never good just to review the first couple of puffs of any cartridge. Uh, so we've got two caps there, one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, looks like a very standard issue cartridge in all ways. Uh, the very popular kind of, you know, brass looking tip, uh, glass body, um, standard threads. It looks like two intake holes. Uh, curiously, there is a little branding on the uh, little um, stem on the inside that says, I Crusher, Crusher, I Crusher O2. Oil looks good, very yellow, uh, yellowish gold looking oil. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on our cartridge or our pen here. Not really a pen in this case, whatever we want to call it. 
Uh, so here we go. We will take our first puff. Okay. <coughs> Don't worry. <coughs> if you've never seen my videos before, <coughs> <coughs> I am a coffer. <coughs> a bad one, too. <coughs> um, couple things. <coughs> taste is fine. Not very gorilla gluey tasting. It's got that kind of piney taste. Not bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's uh, delicious or it doesn't taste really super gorilla gluey, but not bad on taste. Um, does not burn hot, nice and cool on the lungs. Easy coming in. Um, not easy to get big clouds from. Not difficult to draw from necessarily, but uh, drawing a bunch doesn't get you bigger. Pulling a lot doesn't get you the bigger clouds. I was drawing... As you see for a while there, and not producing too much. So if you like big, big... Um, you know, taking big hits at a time. This one's probably not for you. And then the most crucial thing, how high am I on the low end? Um, I'd say somewhere around a three, uh, somewhere in that range. Um, not a bad high. Uh, just, I... I can tell this is going to be one of those ones you're just going to puff on constantly to maintain a, a low-level kind of high um, and isn't going to be doing anything to blow my socks off uh, initially here. Uh, but again, for a $30 cartridge, uh, if you're just looking for something for your oral fixation just to kind of... Enjoy. You might enjoy this one because, um, again, not too... Pretty cheap, pretty affordable, but definitely not the most potent cartridge I've ever had. Like how smooth it is. Uh, don't like the small draws that you get from it. Uh, so overall, this one's um, a will see from me. So I'm going to finish this off. Usually it takes me about five days or so to do, uh, sometimes less, to do a whole gram. As soon as I'm done, guys, I will come right back to you and let you know my wrap-up thoughts in case this bad boy starts leaking or tasting terrible or whatever the case may be. So thank you so much for watching this point, and I will see you guys in just a bit. Peace. Great googly moogly. I am back, guys. It has been about three and a half days since I last checked in with you. Uh, talking exotic carts, exotic carts. I have successfully um, smoked whatever this gorilla is smoking, but not three of them, just one. Um, and my opinion has actually gone up. I, I like it a little bit more than I uh, initially assessed it. Uh, it it it's, was a little bit more potent than I originally thought it. Um, uh, it I seem to be a little la uh, I seem to be higher longer on this cartridge than others. I didn't require uh, sort of constantly going back to the well. Uh, that being said, I I did burn through this one a lot more quickly than I do traditionally one gram cartridges. But I was uh, really using it quite heavily too. So I have no doubts that there was a gram in there. But uh, um, the Taste was pretty consistent throughout. Uh, it wasn't the best tasting uh, cartridge, but it never got uh, really, really, um, the, the flavor never got uh, terrible or never had a burnt taste. It did start to um, make me cough a little bit more towards uh, the bottom uh, as it was harder to draw, but that's true for a lot of cartridges. Um, true for this one as well. But Ultimately, I think I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, this is a pretty good budget option. So this was 30 bucks for a whole gram, and for that price, 
uh, and for as much as I enjoyed it, yeah, that's that's a recommendation from me. Um, one of the rare ones that my opinion sort of turns up on it as you know as I as I go. So uh, if I'm looking for a budget cart in the future, something on the cheaper end, you know, to throw in a backpack or whatever. Uh, and you see these lying around, and they are significantly cheaper than the other one gram carts. Go for it. I, I don't think you'll. Uh, I don't think you'll uh, regret the fact that you did. Um, so that is going to do it for this cartridge review. But before I bounce, guys, um, I want to share with you a little cherry on top, something to share with you uh, that you can enjoy with or without weed. Uh, and this week, I'm going to share with you uh, something that you might want a little bit of weed for, uh, certainly wouldn't hurt your enjoyment of, and that is the classic Onion web series, um, Porkin' Across America with Jim Haggerty. This was introduced to me by a good friend of mine uh, several years ago. Uh, it is a well that I go back to probably once a year at least. Uh, I think it's seven, like eight minute episodes or so. Uh, so it's really not much of an investment, the whole thing. Uh, but it is a wild, wild ride to start to finish. Uh, the brief and um, very uh, unappealing sounding summary is that uh, the Onion's news anchor, morning show news anchor, decides to visit all 50 states and try a pork restaurant in all 50 states. Um, and that is the premise of the web series. It is delightful. Again, that is Porking Across America from The Onion. And this was Exotic Carts and their Gorilla Glue brand. Two things that I quite liked. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this cherry on top. And thank you for sticking around to the end of this review. Appreciate it as always. And we will see you guys on the next review. Peace.